Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can make German gingerbread. It's actually not exactly gingerbread. It's called Lebkuchen and it is a little different from the American gingerbread. And I'm also going to give you a few tips how you can make this a little bit healthier. If you're new on my channel, my name is Anja here at Our Gabled Home, where I love sharing simple heritage homemaking and homesteading and a lot of recipes, healthy recipes and German recipes, and sometimes there are healthy German recipes. So let's get baking together for the holidays. Let me show you the ingredients really quick. And by the way, I'll be linking the recipe in the description box below this video. No email required. You can just straight go to the printable recipe. I'm also going to give you some substitutions. And if you need to get something, I will also link that down below. First of all, we will need flour. I am using just regular all purpose wheat flour right now, white flour, you can use spell flour, you could use einkorn flour, you could use a mixture. So really this recipe is just as versatile as most of my recipes. And then I am using milk and honey, cocoa. I have a little bit of salt for those of you because I'm using butter who are not using salted butter. I'm actually using salted butter today. If you are not, then you would add some salt. I have some extra milk for um, brushing over the finished gingerbread, the finished Lebkuchen, and of course the spices. And I'll also link the spice mixture in the description box below this video. Now. I told you that I was gonna show you how you can make this a little bit healthier, and I will do that right now by adding two cups of flour to this bowl. And then I have my two cups of milk here. You can use regular cow's milk, you can use a plant-based milk, and you can use buttermilk. What I have done is I have actually combined mixed buttermilk with regular milk about one to one. And you can pour this over your flour. Mix that up. and let that sit in your refrigerator overnight. What that will do it is will properly ferment your flour. So oftentimes when people have issues with digesting flour properly, if you ferment it ahead of time with something like buttermilk or even just milk, it makes it easier to digest. And a lot of people who have issues with digesting gluten will actually do better with this recipe. I'm not talking about a real celiac disease. I'm just talking about um, um, gluten sensitivity. To that, we will add one cup of liquid honey. I like using a spatula to get the last bit out because oftentimes there's quite a bit of honey still stuck in it. So in German, oftentimes this type of gingerbread, Lebkuchen, is often called Honigkuchen, which is honey bread or honey cake for this particular reason. Now we'll add two tablespoons of cocoa powder. Two tablespoons of, this is a German Lebkuchen spice, so it's not exactly the same as 
pumpkin spice, which in a pinch you can also use if you're not finding it. And again, I'm leaving the ingredients and measurements for this particular spice in the description box below this video so you can mix it together. And if you can only find whole spices, you just mix them up and grind them up in your coffee grinder or in a dedicated grinder. So we're adding this. And two tablespoons of butter. Again, I'm using salted butter. If you're using regular butter, then I'm suggesting adding just a pinch of salt because salt always brings out the sweetness of um, sweet recipes a little bit better. You can never have enough spatulas in your kitchen. And this already smells like the holidays. We'll give this a good stir. And last but not least, I almost forgot a very important ingredient. Of course, we need something to leaven and that is baking powder. We'll use one rounded teaspoon of baking powder. Now I'm going to let that sit and turn on my oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And then you have two choices in terms of what you want to bake your German Lebkuchen gingerbread in. You can either use a smaller um, baking dish like this, and then you will get a very high gingerbread. You can also use something like this, which gives you a shallower, not quite as high Lebkuchen, which is actually what I'm gonna do today. So I will use this glass baking dish. I will line that with parchment paper. If you don't have parchment paper, you can always use some oil and a brush and brush the oil around and then sprinkle it with flour that will also help the gingerbread not stick to your baking dish. also makes cleanup really easy. All you do is take this out and you're almost done cleaning your baking dish. We'll pour this into the baking dish. We'll move this a little bit around to evenly distribute it. And then we'll put that in the oven for about 35 minutes or until a wooden toothpick or a knife inserted comes out clean. So I'll put this in the oven. And I will see you once the gingerbread is done baking. After 35 minutes, take a wooden toothpick or a knife to test the gingerbread, the Lebkuchen for doneness, and brush the top of the gingerbread with the milk while it's still hot. You can let it cool off on a cooling rack. And the hardest part really is to let it cool completely because it will be really difficult to cut it before it's completely cooled off. So mine has, I have waited long enough. I'm placing it over here and then you simply cut it in little squares.
And here is your Lebkuchen. You can sprinkle some more sugar on it just to let you know. This is not a very sweet recipe. If you like your gingerbread to be a little sweeter, you can always add a little bit more sugar to it, to the recipe before you make it. However, I actually like it like this. We often use it in our Christmas dinner recipe. I have a card up here that shows you the recipe. And if you're looking for more holiday recipes and for Christmas, I have an entire playlist here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.